Hi, I'm Christian from the Outreach Department of the Dayton Metro Library. We've been reading Flora and Ulysses, The Illuminated Adventures by Kate DiCamillo. In the story, Ulysses the squirrel gains the ability to fly. You might think it's just fiction, but in real life, there is a type of squirrel called a flying squirrel. They don't fly like birds, but flying squirrels can glide more than 150 feet at a time. Today, we're going to make our own gliding object, a hovercraft. You will need a balloon, an old CD or DVD you don't mind ruining. If you don't have one, ask your grown-ups if they do. The cap from a sport water bottle, and some tape, duct tape or super strong glue. Today I have masking tape. All right, let's get started. Okay, so first, close the bottle cap, which I have here, and it is closed, um, and use glue or tape, and I have some pieces of tape right here that I'm gonna use, so attach it securely over the hole of the CD. And here we go, let's just make sure you get a good amount on here. Now take your balloon, blow it up completely, twist the neck to keep the air inside. <laughs> All right, I'm going to twist it here. Now keep the neck twisted and stretch the balloon over the cap. Just like this. All right, I have it over there. Now untwist the neck when you're ready. There it is. You can open the cap without removing the balloon. Here we go. And then you can give it a gentle push. Look, it's gliding. Why does it work? Because of friction. Friction is the force between two surfaces that are sliding across one another. Friction slows things down and stops them from sliding. The more friction there is between two surfaces, the more difficult it is to slide one across the other. When you open your cap under the balloon, you are releasing the air from the balloon between the table and the CD. This creates a cushion of air your hovercraft can glide on. Air has less friction than the table, which is why it is easier for the CD to glide when the air cushion is present. Try sliding your CD across the table without the air from the balloon and you will see that it is more difficult. If you'd like to experiment, try launching your hovercraft on different surfaces, such as a table, carpet, and concrete. Which surface lets the hovercraft glide the furthest? Why do you think that is? Which surface has the most friction? the least. I hope you have fun with your new hovercraft. If you haven't read Floor and Ulysses yet, you can check it out from your library or online through our Tumble Books library. Thanks for watching and remember to add this program to your summer challenge log. See you next time.